See, this is what happens when you let your plants grow unsupported. She needs a moss pole, and that's what we're doing today. Hello, beautiful plant people. My name is Ayana. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to take care of plants as simply as possible and see what plants are in my plant collection as well as unbox plants with me, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more planty related videos. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're making core or moss poles. So depending on what material you want to use for your plants, you can either select to make moss poles, which are usually uh, derived from Canada, which are found in peat bogs, which are located in marshes and swamps. Or you can go with core materials, which are usually derived from Sri Lanka or India, which is the, the waste product left over after coconut harvesting. So today I chose to use core material and you can find these easily at your, lo your local Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, I do have the materials linked in my description if you want to go ahead and click on that and purchase the materials. Um, I will have to let you know that those are affiliate links so I will make a small percentage if you choose to buy from those links. Or you could just go ahead and mosey on down to your local Lowe's. Wait, what is a mo- is this moseying? Do people even mosey? I feel like if I saw somebody going like this mosey into the lows they would be my friend <laughs> whatever let's get into this video all right so the first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and collect your materials in this video i'm going to use twine just need a pair of scissors core baskets or you can use moss which i have linked in the description and i use bamboo sticks to wrap the material around so you want to decide how long you want your moss pole. These bamboo sticks are six feet tall. I usually like to just do the whole six feet because I don't want to keep extending my poles. And as you can see back here, my plants just like to keep going. So I go for the maximum amount. And then what I do first is I take my plant and you see this one needs to be propped up. I just simply stick the pole in there till it goes to the bottom of the pot. You don't want to stick it in there forcefully. You don't want to break any roots or anything. And you just want to see, get like a gauge of how tall you want your moss pole. Now this one does go a bit taller as you can see, but I'm just going to, you can either break it, cut it with the scissors, or you can keep it the same length. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna break it about here, just because I might not want this plant to grow so tall as compared to my monsters. So I think that's what I might do. So let's see. All right, so I took note that I want to chop it here. And so this is where I can go ahead and make the cut. And you can just simply snap it. And then you see the moss pole is much shorter. So then what I like to do is a tear lining and you just want to rip it apart. And you want nice sized pieces. Not too small, not too big. All right, so what you want to do is you just want to take your stick, and this is a different one than the one that I showed you previously. My camera stopped recording, so I'm just going to show you guys on a smaller one. But the principle will still be the same is you just want to take a small piece of the core and wrap it around the top of your bamboo stick just so you don't have to see the top of the stick and you know it kind of, it will just blend in with the rest of it once you're finished you want to take your twine and tie a knot 
and this is going to be difficult because I'm not left handed trying to I should hold it the other way but you just want to tie it just like that you can tie two knots if you want that way it is secure and you can tuck this so you don't have to see it it's really up to you all right so next what you want to do is just take your pieces of core and just wrap it around the pole just like that and you can make it to the thickness that you want and then what I do with this one is I just twirl this down like that try to give it get it to be as even as possible uh, just so because you know just for looks but if you don't really mind about that then you can just twirl it however you want and you just take your next piece and you just want to overlap the first the piece before it just a little bit just so you don't have any gaps in between your pole and again just twirl and once you get the hang of this it moves pretty fast you can create multiple poles in one sitting that's what I like most about it because I do tend to have a lot of plants that are climbers and that need to have that support all right and you just twirl and then you would leave you would measure this usually and stick this in the pot and determine where you would want to stop but you would stop it right about here if you're putting this in about a four inch pot and so what you'll do is just again you'll cut this and I just simply stick it in the last level and I'll loop it in there two or three times just so that way it doesn't unravel. I never had one unravel, but I do like to secure it. And you just pull it through. You know, you can make this neater. But that's your moss pole. And that really only took you like maybe five minutes. And simple materials that you can use to make moss pole poles for your plants. The reason why I like to make mine thinner with just the steak is, and I'll show you, is easy to pop in and out of your plants. So with the pole that I made before my camera stopped recording, you just simply stick it in the dirt without breaking any roots. And this is why I like to make mine with the smaller piece because you can just pop them in and out of your different plants and your pots. If you were to make them with the thicker um, bamboo stakes, you would have to up pot your plant and situate it around the stake so that way you can you won't damage any roots or anything. But I find that when I do it this way, it's just easy for me to interchange. So you just take this and you can either use your twine that you use to make the pole or you can take your Velcro, your plant Velcro, which comes looking like this. And you can just attach the plant to the pole like this. And see how simple and easy that was? It really didn't take that long. And now your plant is supported. So this is how I like to make my poles to get my plants to be supported and you know so they can climb up taller but yeah thank you guys for watching another video if you want to see any more planty content please subscribe to my channel and like my video it really does help but i will see you guys in the next video i also pop up my subscriber of the video comment here but i see you guys in the next one bye and the result will look like the plant will be nice and supported. And over time, 
as the leaves come in, they will be more and more mature. Whereas now you'll have, you have more of the juvenile leaves, you will come to have nice mature size leaves.